Here is a quick demonstration for removing our FEP off from the LD002R. Of course, one of the first things we do is to remove the two screws that hold the VAT down to the machine itself. Pretty simple, just unscrew them all the way out, set them to the side. Next, we're going to use our Allen keys and remove all of the screws from the bottom of the vat that are holding the FEP film in. Once we have all of those screws taken out, we're going to remove the metal bracket that's holding the FEP film in. You'll notice I am still wearing gloves. That's really, really advisable since there is, as you can see, leftover resin that's going to be holding on to the FEP film inside the vat. So you just pry up this bar that's holding it in, the plate and uh, set that to the side. And then find an easy way to get the FEP film out. I'm just using these nice tweezers just to pull it out and remove it. Be careful not to splash it around or fling resin all over the place. You can still see that there's still a lot of uncured resin there, so that's why we want to wear gloves. Now we want to take some IPA or other cleaning solutions. I'm using Mean Green Super Strength Cleaner and Degreaser to clean this off. Um, right now IPA is hard to find and this is a good way to do it. Take the time to clean all of the different areas out, inside and around the outside of it. Cleaning it as thoroughly as you can. I've taken some time here to just take a little extra time and, and blow off anything else that's there just so I don't have anything caught underneath the FEP film. And just wipe it down. Give yourself a nice clean vat to work with when you're ready to go. Now we have different we have different types of FAP. This is the one that came with Creality, and then I purchased some some aftermarket FEP film. I'm assuming that I already know what the Creality FEP is like, so I'm going to try this secondary type. Um, it had five sheets in it in the packet and so I'm just going to take one of them out and place it on the bottom of the vat. All you need to do is place this on and get it centered the best you can. It's not critical, just make sure you have enough as equal as you can overhang on all, the, all four edges. Once you have that in the position that you feel like that you want it, then go ahead and take the plate, hold down plate, place it on top, and gently press it in. And as you can see, it'll start tightening the FEP in it, and uh, push that in. And once we get that pulled a little bit tight, then we're going to use a little point at all to punch a few holes in and start the process of fastening down the FEP. 
what I'm doing here is I'm going to be doing the tightening in diagonal format, pulling and stretching as I go. I am not tightening it all the way. I'm just kind of, I'd say, loosely tightening and I just make sure I get it down there where it's snug. The screws have caught in the vat itself and work my way through that. You'll be able to see as I go through this quickly that um, I'm just going to kind of go diagonally so that I can stretch it evenly on all different sides and directions as we go. Once we have that down, then I'm going back. Now I'm going to tighten it down tighter, again diagonally working my way through it to get it tightened down and firmly secure that all of the screws are in there nice and tight. Now that we have everything screwed down really nice and tight, everything is snug, it's now time to trim off the excess FEP using an X-Acto blade. Carefully, very carefully, go down into the groove of the vat with your X-Acto blade and just cut out the excess that's sticking out there so that it's not going to interfere with the vat sitting directly onto bottom of the LCD. Once we now have it all trimmed off nicely, cleaned up there, now we're going to add some solution to the vat itself, either some PTFE solution or Rain-X to help it so that it doesn't stick to the FEP when we're printing. 
I'm just taking one of these nice blue towels that are soft, it doesn't scratch, folding it up, and apply a small amount of release liquid, either like I said, some Rain-X or some PTFE material and I'm just giving it a good wipe all the way around the FEP and trying to get it nicely covered and I'm also going around the inside of the vat itself not necessarily that it's a big deal but perhaps that will help some of the resin sticking to that as we go ahead and print making it easier to clean. Once we've completed that let it dry for a few minutes while we're doing it and then we'll come back with the dry cloth and just polish things up. Wiping off the excess and just give it a nice polish. Once we've polished the inside and got that cleaned up then we'll go ahead and I take some time and clean it off with a soft cloth that I actually used to clean glasses with to clean the outside of the fit material. Now that it's all polished up and cleaned up well, we just start the reassembly, putting the screws back in. Just start the screws as on the top. Pretty simple, straightforward. Once it gets in past the threads, it's just going to drop into place. Pushing through on the back side through the FEP. You may have to uh, punch and make sure that that's clear on the back side. Either punching it using an exacto blade and then just screw that in and punch it through. We're all set. We have a new FEP film on our vat. Nice and tight with some release liquid on it to hopefully make it work and we're ready to print. Uh -huh.